Hi guys, this is a quick reference I've added to the beginning of this video after I've actually uh, created it because at the time I made this video I didn't realise that Windows Movie Maker has been discontinued by Microsoft and has not been replaced uh, as of uh, February 2017. And the reason why I've uh, said this is because if you do a search for download Windows Movie Maker you'll come up with loads of sites that kind of say that it's Movie Maker but as far as I understand it's not you'll be da you might be downloading Movie Maker but you'll also be downloading viruses and adware and bloatware and all this sort of stuff so really I can only really advise until somebody definitively gives me a download link to download the proper Windows Movie Maker with no crap on it only follow this video and use Movie Maker if you've already got it installed on your PC and you might be surprised you might have um, you might it might be an earlier version, but you might still have it. But don't do a search for download Movie Maker and then go to all these strange odd sites and download it because it won't be the proper mo proper Movie Maker, and it could well be uh, come along with a payload of viruses and stuff like that. But if you have got Windows Movie Maker already installed on your PC, watch this video, use the program to edit your gameplay videos, and enjoy using a really fantastic piece of software. And I hope that Microsoft replace it with something new. Um, and free. Anyway, enjoy. Hi everybody, just wanted to do a quick video about doing editing, uh, editing your gameplay videos in the free Windows Movie Maker program. And this is a fantastic place to start if you want to edit your gameplay on your computer for free and it actually is quite powerful so what we're going to be doing today in this today's project is we've got a gameplay video that i've already loaded up onto the screen and to load videos up into movie maker just fire movie maker up and then you can drag files you know down then into the timeline and then that will do it that way um and what we're going to do is we're going to add a commentary track to this and we're going to edit the video to sort of take some bits out of it and we're going to add a title and uh, we're going to add some credits at the end to a nice basic simple edit and then we'll export it as well so to start off with as you can see we've got the got the video um, and the kind of the head the point at which we uh, make edits we can drag along with our mouse like that and then we can press play to preview see which bit we are we can also drag this this bit along to move the head along as well now you, what, 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 blah, blah, you may well notice that you can see the audio waveforms here as well so if we go into view i've got that select so we can turn it off just so we can see you know what's going on with the sound so without further ado what we're going to do let's just uh add the uh, narration to this video as well so if we go into the folder where it's hidden here it is this is the narration so i'm just going to drag this down and then we're going to plonk it onto the audio like this now i happen to know that when i recorded this narration here um it's not right yet because there's the, there's some bits at the bottom i need bits at the front sorry that i need to edit off so we're just going <laughs> to there we go and then so then i start talking so if you like about look up here you'll see um in this and we've got video tools here and then we've got music tools now we want to edit the music that i've edit that i've added and so we're going to make sure we've got that tab selected and we're going to select the split tool in a sec so after i've cleared my throat and made various horrible noises it's about there isn't it so i want to split that and you see how that bit's like separate so i can now select that press delete on my keyboard and now from the beginning we should have sniper elite v2 is a third person shooter there we go and then if we slide cycle down to the bottom let's see what it's like at the bottom so let's see where we are and let's play that bit thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon I'll see you again soon. So now I want to get rid of this last bit. So I can slide the head back a little bit and then I can go split and then delete that. And there we go. So our audio commentary is, is pretty much good to go. Now you may well find that the balance between the noises in uh, the gameplay video and the audio 
aren't quite right. It could be the gameplay is uh, too loud. And so you can play with that in the fact that we've got the video tool here. And you see, you see this is video volume over here. If we click on that, we've got a slider. So we can make the video louder, or we can make it quieter, or we can leave it in the middle. Then if we click on the music tools tab over here, we click on music volume, and we can make it louder. So generally we want it louder, so we can have that. Let's just preview that. Sniper Elite V2 is a third person shooter. It is indeed a third person shooter. So it could be, actually, let's have a look. Let's, uh, we want to delete some of this footage from the beginning of the video until we get to the, the action bits. There we go. So there's a bit where, me, where I'm shooting somebody. So let's take the head back to, say, there. And then make sure we're on the video tools tab. And then we just go split. And that splits that there. So now I can select that part of the video, hit delete, and dunk, it's gone. So when we press play now. Sniper Elite V2 is a third person shooter set in the dying days of World War II. Where you we start off with something a little bit more exciting. And then say we slide down to here and we decide actually this little bit here. Um, this is a bit boring actually after this and we want to cut out this section here. We would just go to there, make sure in the video section, hit the split button, move the head along till we get to the bit that we, where we think it's getting interesting again, hit the split button again, and then we can select that bit and press delete. And we've got rid of that bit. And that won't affect our audio at all. And you can go through your video like that, just taking things out. Um, I guess the final thing would be the end, wouldn't it? So if we move our head down to this bit, whoops, there's our head. And I stopped talking about there, don't I? So let's see where I stopped talking. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. So I stopped talking there, so we really want to split the video there. So make sure in the video, hit split, select the last bit, hit delete, and there we go. So if we look at the video now, we can see... We've got all our gameplay video. We've, we've taken some clips out of it and it kind of matches up with the audio carrying it over. But we need a title, don't we? We need a title for this video. So if we go press the home button and then um, we click on title, you'll, we've got all these kind of templates here so we can choose, choose a nice little title. So I don't know. I used to really like, is it this one? Yeah, I like. I like, that one. I, like that. I like that one. And then this bit appears up here. We now put our title in and go, My Sniper Elite Video. Hmm. And let's just make that a little bit bigger, like that. Oh, I must have deleted it, didn't I? <laughs> Silly boy. And then let's make that box bigger there. Let's make it really large. In fact, I want a different font. I want my, um, what's it called? I can't remember. Call of Duty Ops. Call of Ops Duty. There we go. My, my Sniper Elite video. So if we now play that, we should have... Sniper Elite V2 is a third person shooter set in the dying oh. days of World War II. Where your mission there we go. A fancy little uh, title. But I tell you what, I'm not happy the fact that the audio starts right at the beginning. So I'm going to grab hold of the audio and just move it along. Whoops. So the audio is now there. So if we go back to the beginning, we should just have a title. There we go, My Sniper Elite Video. And then it fades nicely. And then the real video Sniper Elite. starts there. Now a video would be nothing without some credits at the end. So let's just select the end clip and put credits. And then again, we've got lots of nice templates we can use for our credits. How about that? That's, I like that one. So credits. This video was made by Rob. Da, da, da. Let's make it bigger. Bigger's better. Let's uh, select all that. We need a bigger font. Side that up there, and we want to change the font to Call of Ops Duty again, the one I use for all of my videos. And let's put it about there. And then if we move our head back to here, 
we can play the end of the video and then see our uh, okay that's enough for me please put your questions and comments down below hit the like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more of the same thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon oh this video was made by rob what a fantastic end actually there is something else i want to show you as well let's go up to here in this clip here now where we've got a change between the clips so if i play this so fun to play i just know i'll be spending more time completing the extra dlc missions that come with the game of the year edition and i've got to say that already that the kill hitler level is a masterpiece it is indeed i'll also be revisiting some of the main campaign levels on a harder difficulty. right see how we had that hard transition there didn't we between those two scenes we really want to put a nice transition in don't we so what we want to do here is you go to um animation and then these are all transitions that we can do and these are all sort of examples of the transitions what they'll do as you sort of hold your mouse over it gives you an example but we don't want it to be there we want it to be here thank you very much in fact there we go so you can see all these wonderful ones now they hide the really useful one down here and these are the simple fade to black and fade up from black. I mean, don't get me wrong, these fancy ones are very stylish. Um, and I think the wipes are very Star Wars-ish, aren't they? But you, your simple uh, fade to fade to black and back again is is fine. So if we look at this transition now, we should have a nice bit of uh, to and from black. Zip, zip. That's better, isn't it? That's very nice. So there we go. Hopefully, that's been useful for showing you a nice basic project, how you can import, where well, you just uh, drag and drop your gameplay video into Windows Movie Maker, drag and drop your audio into it, edit your audio, edit your video, add titles, add credits, add some simple transitions, and then all we need to do now is um, save it. So file publish oh sorry save movie and then what you do is you come across to here and you can go to recommended for this project uh, recent settings youtube high definition display that's the one i would choose 1920 by 1080 2419 estimated file size 173 megabytes per minute of video which would be fine that would be really good um, because remember you want to really render it at high quality and then upload it to YouTube. And it might take a while, but what it will make sure then is that as YouTube uh, messes around with the file and makes the uh, smaller versions for people on phones and things like that, you, you'll still have that high uh, quality one ready for people who've got good internet connection. So we do high net definition display and then we'd save it somewhere as an MPEG-4. So there we go. If you have any questions about uh, editing uh, gameplay videos. I don't use Movie Maker that much because I have Premiere Pro, so I tend to use all that, that all the time, and I'm more familiar with it. But Windows Movie Maker, as long as you think about what you're doing, it is a very, very, very powerful tool. Um, and I, uh, it's what I started off with anyway. And if you've got any questions or comments, though, stick them down below or email me, skillspeed at gmail.com. If you enjoyed the video, hit like if you want to see more of the same. Press subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.